How's it going everyone? It's Cubologist here and today I've got something pretty cool. It's not actually a cube or a puzzle, but it's cubing related and I'm super excited to show you guys. All right, so if you guys are cubers and you've been doing it for a while, you've probably been to competitions and had to transport your puzzles and stuff like that. And you know, you use something typically that looks like this. You know, you've got some type of bag that either has a cube store on it or something like that. They're pretty generic. It's nice and I enjoy that they send you these, but you're basically advertising for some company and it's not very personal. So after I ordered this play mat, I actually got in contact with Inked Play Mats, the company that prints all these. And I asked them if they had anything like a cube bag that they could personalize for me. And they do. They have a dice bag. So today, this showed up. So take a look at that right there. That's actually the image that I sent them. So I haven't seen the bag yet. And this is what I sent them. I designed it in Photoshop. It took a little while. I had to actually talk to a few people because I didn't want it to look very tacky. But, you know, I got to put my C on everything, right? So Thomas was nice enough to send me this to show on my channel. And I'm pretty excited. I'll actually link to their website in the description. I don't really know if I recommend it or not yet because I haven't seen it, you know? But I'll give you guys an honest assessment once I open it up. So let's get into this. Hmm, strong packaging. All right, so let's see here. All right, wow, that's pretty cool. So as you guys can see, that's pretty exact as to what I sent him. Let me zoom in. I used the grid that I actually used to texture my cube, and then I faded it into black and put my name on the bottom with an outer glow, a golden outer glow around my C. The back side is just blank. I didn't want to put my logo on both sides. I thought it looked a little bit repetitive, but fades to black down at the bottom. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. And this is actually, let me show you guys these other bags. Um, these are actually kind of felt and they get a little bit weathered really easily, but this seems to be, I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of silky. It's a material that I felt on some clothes, like uh, sports clothes, Under Armour, stuff like that. And it's, it's really padded. It's pretty nice. So they actually, they market this as a dice bag, but obviously it works with a cube. So let's see what can fit in here. Obviously a three by three fits, you know, that's pretty simple, but I think this bag will actually hold larger puzzles. So let's see. All right. So I've actually tried a few puzzles out and the largest puzzle that I actually could comfortably fit in here was the Moyu seven by seven. So that lets you know the size of this bag. It's pretty, I'm pretty impressed to be honest with you. I didn't really know what kind of review I was gonna give it or what kind of opinions I would have on it because it's hard to print on something that you make a bag out of. I assume that they have to print on it and then they stitch it together, but it's only, you know, it's seamed on one side. The drawstring is actually pretty thick. I don't know, I'm super happy about this. So I really appreciate Thomas from Ink Play Mat sending me this. You guys go check it out. Like I said, you don't have to buy it obviously, but it's definitely pretty cool. And if you like customizing things like I do, this is definitely awesome. So you guys go check it out. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. And if you end up getting one, let me know. I'd love to see your video on the unboxing and I'd like to see what designs you come up with. But guys, thanks again and you'll hear from me really soon. Talk to you later, bye. 